Samsung is expected to introduce the Galaxy S26 series early next year. The lineup is rumored to feature the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and the Galaxy S26 Ultra, with the most expensive model offering direct satellite connectivity for emergency use. That feature, however, appears to be limited to a single regional version. The Galaxy S26 Ultra carrying the model number SMS9480 has now received approval from China compulsory certification for the Chinese market, and certification documents confirm that this variant includes direct satellite communication. This functionality is expected to let users share messages or location details with local emergency services when no cellular network is available. At this point, it remains unclear whether full emergency calling support is included. A well-known leaker has highlighted how the Galaxy S26 Ultra's charging situation unfolded over time. According to the source, most people had already accepted that 60-watt charging would not happen and believed Samsung would stick with 45-watt charging for the S26 Ultra. Despite this, the leaker continued to stand by the claim that 60-watt support was real. Now, with newer information backing it up, the leaker states that the original claim has been proven correct. They also reiterated that the Galaxy S26 Ultra specifications regarding 60 watt charging remain unchanged and were never downgraded to 45 watt, reinforcing confidence in earlier leaks. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in comment section. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is widely expected to support 60 watt wired charging powered by Samsung's new super fast charging 3 technology. If the rumors hold, it will mark the company's first major charging upgrade in years. A new Samsung charger was silently listed on the company's website. It is called the 60 watt power adapter and carries the model number EP610. It has a single universal serial bus type C port that offers a maximum power output of 60 watts and can go as low as 5 milliwatts to save power when it is not actively used. A new report from Wing Future has revealed additional early details about the Galaxy S26 series and its accessories. According to their exclusive coverage, Samsung is now preparing to launch the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra, and a wide range of official accessories is already in development. This confirms Samsung's plan to make magnetic wireless charging a standard feature across the entire Galaxy S26 lineup. According to the latest information shared by the German publication, Samsung is preparing several official accessories for the Galaxy S26 lineup. These include Samsung Magnetic Carbon Case in Black for the Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26 Plus, Samsung Clear Case Transparent for the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra, Samsung Magnetic Clear Case Transparent for the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra. Samsung Dual Magnet Holder Ring for all Galaxy S26 models. Samsung Magnetic Rugged Clear Case for the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra. Samsung Magnetic Silicone Case for the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra, available in black or gray. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in comment section. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. 
Next, we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4900 mAh unit with 45 DD fast charging and 15 DD wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with one UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120 and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 1 TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with one UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest updates.